Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, just got done watching England versus Algeria. And can I just say, England was indeed awful. Just putrid. Disgusting. It defies description. How can a team who's ranked 8th in the world draw 0-0 to a team ranked 30th? Well, they can. Uh, England played uninspired football, just absolutely putrid. And I don't even know where to begin. I mean, Wayne Rooney, hello. Uh, are you tired? Are you worn out from the Premier League season? I mean, everybody else has to play league matches during the season. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Um, and I could play, blame it just on Wayne Rooney because there's blame for other players as well. Um, let's see. Steven Gerrard, yeah, played awful. Uh, Frank Lampard, yeah, played awful. Uh, Emil Heskey, yeah, he played awful. And, and what an absolutely awful managerial performance by Fabio Capello. He obviously has no courage, no courage whatsoever to say to these players, okay, put your egos in your pocket and start playing together. Play as a team, not as individuals. He lacks courage to do that. He, he looks like uh, Sven, Sven the second coming. That's what it looks like. It just defies description. How can a team who has so much talent play so ungodly, crappy, shitty? I mean, I don't get it. I do not understand it. And quite simply, they don't deserve to go through. They don't deserve it. Whether they do or not, we will see. But they don't deserve it. They're playing just like France and Italy. They're playing awful. Okay? And, you know, this is a World Cup, and there's many shocks and many surprises along the way. But, you know what? You know, at, at the end of the day, you need to buck up and put the ball in the net. Not in your own net, which almost happened. <laughs> uh, and I'm in reference to the back pass coming from midfield back to uh, David James. Which, wow, that was the best shot of the day. So... You know, and John Terry had, was awful. Uh, Jamie Carragher, yeah, well, you won't be playing that last match, will you? Just can't resist those yellow cards, can you? Um, Glenn Johnson, hey, you, you know, you you may actually want to not miss the ball. Uh, John Terry, when you're back passing it to David James, you might actually want to get it back to him before one of the Algerian players picks it off. Uh, equal blame for everybody. The only players that really uh, can't be blamed are the substitutes. You know, they because Fabio Capello, you know, in the what 70th minute or so, hey, let's start let's start substituting players. Okay, too little, too effing late. Just absolutely pathetic managerial performance by him, and it really is consistent with the play on the field. Just absolutely putrid. Wayne Rooney, you know, whatever. I mean, and he just absolutely gave up at the end. And you could just tell. He was just, ah, I'm not going to keep doing this. Well, that's great. Great. So what, is that, what kind of message does that send? You know, you have Jermaine Defoe come in, Peter Crouch come in. You know, and, and, and as far as I'm concerned, Sean Wright Phillips, he's a great player for Manchester City. He does not, need, he does not deserve to be on the national team. The only players I think are worthy of, you know, any accolades are uh, Ashley Cole. You know, even he wasn't flawless. Um, and let's see, who else? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> really, I mean, everybody else is just kind of. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that shot. You know, and that's the problem I had with Steven Gerrard. Take the shot. You are in the box. Take the shot. No, I'm going to try one extra pass. Okay, great. Except when you're crossing it, 
there's nobody there. Nobody else can take the shot. You have the best opportunity. And you know what? There's a, the whole little thing about the rebound. Somebody else can get the rebound. So, so anyways, next week we have England and Slovenia. Slovenia, they deserve to go through. They, you know, gritty little team. Um, the U.S., surely, surely they came back and had a draw. Maybe it shouldn't have been a draw. But you know what? They played an awful first half. I didn't actually see that match. But I saw the highlights and, you know, they don't deserve to go through. I mean, what, what an awful group. I mean, as fantastic as some other teams are playing, you know, Ghana or, I can't say Germany anymore, but, you know, there's some teams that are just playing with inspiration and motivation and excitement and teams like England, France, Italy, you guys are boring and dull and you, you just can't get it together. And I'm sorry, Fabio, if you guys don't go through, you're done. You should be so done because, not because of that very notion that they didn't go through, but because you didn't have the courage to say to Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, John Terry, and Wayne Rooney, you know what, put your effing egos in your pocket this is what's going to happen. And in fact, and if it doesn't happen, you're not going to be on the team. That's how it comes. Have the courage to at least pick players who want to be there and have excitement and motivation. I mean, I, I do not understand keeping Emil Heskey in for as long as he did. He was ineffective against the U.S. He was ineffective against Algeria, and yet somehow he stayed in. Okay, to me, if you're not effective, you need to be substituted. They're matching up well against the player, against Heskey. Time to get somebody else that maybe doesn't match up so well. That's right, you know, 20 minutes left, hey, let's put in Jermaine Defoe. Okay, what is that going to prove? He doesn't have time. <sighs> Absolutely awful performance. You might as well, you know, make Stuart Pierce back the manager, or get Sven back, because... It can't be any worse. I mean, at least with Sven, they got to the quarterfinals. They're not even going to get that close. So, anyways, just venting. An absolutely awful performance by England. One of the worst I've ever seen. And it's, and I, I'm by no means an expert with England performances, but where is the ambition? Where is the motivation? And above all, where is the cohesion? Where is the team play? Nowhere to be found. Bye.